Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy, sir, of the 2020 Podcast, LLC. Please say the LLC. And before you listen to this episode, I just got to let you know, I need you to stop what you're doing. Go to blkrenaissance.com, and I need you to shop for the culture. That's right. Anytime you use the promo code LLC20 at Black Renaissance Clothing's website, you will get 20% off your order. Off rip. No questions asked. So do me a favor and do it for the culture. Peace. Hey, this is KJ, and I have a question for you. When was the last time you got something nice for yourself? <laughs> That's what I thought. So why not visit www.theblurredsyndicate.com and get something that will help you express who you really are. They've got shirts, mugs, purses, mouse pads, and even aprons for the grillers of the family. So if you're a fan of anime, pro wrestling, or hell, even the Golden Girls, the Blurred Syndicate has got you covered. Also, if you use the code LLC20 at checkout, you'll get 20% off your order. So what are you waiting on? I got mine. Come get yours. And remember to join the BS. Hi, guys. It's Mr. I'm Just Being Honest, host of the Truth Serum Podcast, podcast for the people. You can find me on Spotify, Anchor, and Buzzsprout. More networks coming soon. Happy listening. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat, the self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Mm-hmm. Okay, we lit it just like a fuse, so no need to pick and choose. Welcome to 2020, where we do more than interviews. The hottest beat coming through, dropping knowledge on all that you get. A beaker to front of you with the truth that they offer you. Yeah, hands up, we doing it for the culture. To give artists and businesses more exposure. Keeping it real and stay solid just like a boulder. It's about to go all the way down, can get no lower. Chasing my dreams, know that they get no slower. But if I stay running, I promise they're getting closer. More over success, my older. And if you're sleeping on me, I'm waking them up like boulders. I told you, coming from the land with the tide roll, well, we'll be on the whole. Different vibe though. We like to ride slow and keep our windows spinning so you really can see us like Stevie Wonder waking up with his eyes closed. Yeah, got the kind of flow that rocked the boat. On my 16s of pounds of dough. And if you figure you can hang with me on the mic, then grab some rope. Matter of fact, better grab some hope while you at it. We keep it live, it's time to tune in. Turn up the sound on what you're using. It goes so hard, I think it's bruising. The show is 2020, no need to zoom in. Yeah. The lady. Well, I don't know if you know. Well, I don't at all anymore. Oh, man. Can we talk about church? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we can do this. <laughs> can we talk about, I've been waiting to have a conversation about, a conversation a conversation about, about, church. about church for a minute, bro. I, I've been let go, bro. I've been let go, bro. You've been let go? I've like, been when, let go, When bro. did you let go? I let go trying to get me go back in like... You remember I came back in like 2017, right? Yeah, you did. Trying to get me come back strong for like two years. and I almost did. Mm-hmm. And the one day I came back, the one motherfucking day I came back, mm-hmm. this nigga said, <laughs> so I, it was a guest pastor there. What did he say? What pa- guest pastor was this? I don't even know. It don't even fucking matter. Because <laughs> every every horrible story I have typically has to do with a guest pastor. Uh-huh. So this nigga was like, uh, you got these women up in here who, who, who listen to this music just mm-hmm. like this and they're whores. Just whores. And I'm like, Oh my God, what did, what did he say? Bro, I don't even remember. I just remember the instant I heard that, I logged out. I was just like, eh, that was your one shot. Fucked it up. What? Now, the, the last times I went to, the last time I went to, I'm going to bleep that out. The last time I went, yeah, you were there. Yeah, because like, oh, I think that was the last time I actually, the people saw me at when I went to funeral. And I didn't, I like, I haven't, I'm trying to think. Like, yeah, I stopped doing around the same time. Like, doing the, um, right before the pandemic, I was, like, visiting. I was dating right way. Mm-hmm. And, Nothing, um, I saw you, though. Or right way? Yeah, remember? Oh, My yeah, ex. you did, yeah. 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 And so, like, I was dating right way at that particular time. And, you know, I'm starting, like, as, a, as I got older, your mm-hmm. relationship with God is between you and God, not you, God, and church. Yeah, and it's not about that. you going to church. You're supposed to go to church. You're supposed to give God some of your time. But it takes not just on Sundays. There's a lot more to it mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And it's it, it just like right right hit different. 
And then when I like, I think the last time I, I think I can't remember. I don't know. It was right. I think it was right before the pandemic. I don't remember. I think when a situation happened with and mm. it's some money with the church. Mm. You no. Know, Stealing. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I heard and, I, about and, that. and that's when they hit was numerous. And he got up and said his woo to woo, and I felt that that was so disrespectful. Like, come on, that's your baby sister. That is your baby sister. This is how I knew something was really off because I remember my mama, because I was like, I was there and I was like, why is Papa too? That's uh, mm. um, is sitting on the front. He need to poop it. But like, he just basically was saying, if you ain't, you know, with us, a part of the church, you gonna do this and steal and all that. He did it over the pulpit. Who did this? Oh no. Yes, it was really hard. Like when I tell you, it took everybody for a loop because it was this dark skinned lady that me, me, her, me, her, always sat in the same row. Cause I always mm -hmm. sat by and sat by her dark. That's it. Mm. When he said that, you should have seen this. But I sell phones. Like a three way chat in the middle of the church. Because I just like, I'm, and then like literally they got up and walked out. We thought that he was going to, it was going to be open arms of them coming back. No. She was like, uh uh, done with you. Yeah, burn the bridge. Burn, burn, burn the bridge. Uh, What else? I went like with my, you know, my daddy, he decided to completely walk away because from after or whatever. Yeah. That's when my dad started to see things and understands for himself too because mm. you cannot go by what someone says you have to read it yourself it's right. like my current pastor right now pastor v he's big on it because you gotta believe go look for yourself he's not a person his job is to teach you mm. educate you that's on you if you right. choose to he wants you to but he's not gonna ah, die in your throat but mm. it's an environment where you want to where you want to grow where you want to grow and see and be you know in the church or you know basically you know, have like a whole like real father daughter relationship with god mm. because you know he's very big on life groups i'm in one right now it's called freedom when i tell you it will bite you in the ass <laughs> <laughs> no because like it may it, it start off you you start like learn about the tree of life and then uh -huh. it start getting off about <coughs> surrender that's when you really have to surrender to god to everything got going on you can't hold i have control if you learn that too by myself in this group mm. Forgiveness, like last Tuesday, I was crying my butt off. Like I'm really going through like a bad mental headspace. Is because I made I decided to I really I felt it when I came from DC, and I came back here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just it's a switch. I don't know. I think the Lord. I I think I remember I was praying about something and asked Him to open my eyes about a lot of things so within myself and all that. Is, and that's when it started coming down. And mm. freedom is very awesome. I'm about to go back there twice, go through it twice because mm. it's a process. I understand. Because I'm still like, I'm still like, you know, certain forgiveness. It's gonna take a step, it's gonna take a minute, it's gonna mm. take a minute with that. But like, um, and then this past Tuesday, we just learned about you know, you have power of life in your tongue, you yeah. speak stuff over yourself, and then that, and that's the craziest thing. His new. Uh, series that he's talking about is speaking life in your faith what you believe in faith you know faith for because before the end he was talking about the principle of tithing or whatever why you should tithe and that's when they got to do like about our church we don't do no extra stuff like you know for the guest mm -hmm. pastors or stuff like that no it's just tithes and offering the only extra thing we have we do every fourth Sunday is to believe the bill and it's, he's not even forcing you on that. He encourages you to do it because it, this is your. This is gonna be our future church home. It's, it's mm. ridiculously big. I don't know why we need a lake or pond, whatever out there, but you know that's that's fine. But we're gonna have a school and all that other good stuff. Okay. And so it's just like you have to you have to outgrow you when you get an adult. It's okay to walk away from your from your original church home. It's okay. Yeah, it's I not, agree. It's not. It's very 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 okay because. A lot of turmoil going on there. Mm -hmm. I saw them on Facebook, like the whole gang. I ain't gonna say their last name, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I see them on Facebook, but I don't ever really see them in passing. And it's weird because the memories I have of them are like 20 years ago, mm -hmm. and then to see them now it's is completely. It's weird because it don't match with what we were like forced to believe you know what i'm saying it's like it's different it's very different especially like i think um uh, uh 
he was basically saying that when like as he came back, like you know, we could have went to football games, we could have did scholarships. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't like I don't understand like why we can do none of that stuff. Right. Like here, like where I go at right now, he don't he does not have an issue with us going to Mardi Gras. You can go out there and have a good time and not be doing the most. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? It's not not doing the most at all. He be out there. But he don't be doing that thing. You never right. know. Or whatever and stuff like that. But it's not like we don't have a good, like, you know how we have, like, you know, pastor appreciation? No. It's not even like this. It's the opposite. We rent, they, we rent out the locale. It's for us. It's a whole ball shindig for us to show I appreciate you. Because I wouldn't be here without God and you. That's dope. Yes. I think that's dope. Yes. Because I definitely have a problem with pastor appreciation. Uh, yes. And, like... And if you let you lift your list to one of his sermons, something now he now he can be a little shady. He don't try to do it on purpose. Mm-hmm. But he, but, I've heard. I've but heard. He, but I've he, seen some of it Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he don't. It's just when he, when he gets into it, and I think the you know the spirit be talking to him at the same time, especially when it comes to certain subjects. I don't know how he start off talking about the series, and then for some, I don't know how it it just ties in with day to day life, and mm-hmm. you be like. Ooh, Okay, you read, you yeah. read me too well today. I'm gonna need you <coughs> not to be. Yeah, you too close today, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So like, I'm learning a lot when, especially when it comes to real forgiveness with someone. Like, if you truly, really forgive someone, seeing them will not make you upset. Your heart rate, mm-hmm. you won't feel nervous. I said, oh crap, I got somebody I got really truly forgive this time. Dang. And then like, um, I was okay with admitting that I do have some daddy issues because mm-hmm. like, you know, uh, like. I do suffer from abandonment and even though I'm not able to see my therapist, but me being in this freedom is actually keeping my mind where I can be able to. That's interesting. To be able to, you know, move without until I get me there because like if I didn't have one, I wouldn't have went back to work. Mm. I wouldn't have cared about my PTO if I ain't had none of that. I just would have been like zonked in, like mm-hmm. dead, just couldn't. Like I was crying, all that other stuff. And then starting, you know, it's, it's when you really truly want to know something, you feel in a certain type of way because you don't want to feel this type. Of, like I had posted something a couple weeks ago, like a couple, like a couple days ago. I basically said like I'm not into no relationships, no friendships. Like literally, my main goal is protecting my mental, my peace, and my mental space right now. That's even with my family. Man, what you say? Like literally, I had to tell my brother, I told him I got boundaries. He said, No, you don't. Yes, I do. Yeah. You don't respect them, go make you respect them, because I ain't got to be Ron Chief. I don't want to. Man, what? What you say? And they don't, and, the, and especially in the black community, they really truly do not understand when it comes to mental health and church. And mm. they feel like going to therapy is dumb. No, it's not. It's bruh. It's not. It's one. It's hand in hand. And my pastor, he was, un- he, I wouldn't say he thought it was dumb. He, he was uneducated about it. But when we got a therapist in our church, and when that happened, him, I guess him and the Lord had a conversation, mm. and... He was like, sometimes you need, some people need more than just prayer. Some people you may need to go to a therapist because God can talk to that therapist through them to tell you what you need to do. He said, don't not, he said, don't say they go to therapy and don't do, and don't do the tools they tell you to do now. Now he's mm-hmm. very big on you following instructions. Uh, we had a single list conference because he was trying to figure out why all his single, he got a lot of single daughters in his church. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 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 Uh, if he if like if we can really truly be candid with him about it, he'd be like, oh, yeah, because it's like the the sanctity of marriage is not what people wanted. It's not. It's not like it used to be. Mm. It's all about what you can get from someone and how you can get out of someone. Mm. And then you don't want to fight through the difficult times. You just want to just throw your hands in, throw the towel in, and be done with it. Even with relationships and stuff like that. It's easier to escape than, than deal with it. To actually truly like truly deal with it. Like with my current relationship, oh Jesus. I got I have to walk away. I most definitely confirmation last night from our church group. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't I I wasn't even nervous to even tell them about the situation or whatnot. They was like, Baby, mm Literally my confirmation was last Tuesday. I told one of the ministers who's praying over me when I'm coming to pray in agreement for her. And that was the first thing that came in my mouth was we talking about forgiveness. Nah. Mm-hmm. I did say about the forgiveness that I needed, but the first thing they literally gurgitated out of my mouth when I started crying was my relationship. Man. And I told him what was going on 
about the relationship and he was like the Holy Spirit is really telling me gonna tell the Spirit is gonna tell me you either really truly step out on faith and really trust God in this situation mm. and be by yourself or you settle Ooh. and then last night my freedom group leader said the same thing but a little bit longer he said she was like you literally need to you need to walk away because you you what you're doing you're blocking yourself and she said when you leave from this Oh, he ain't finished with you. You still gonna have some lot of healing it going. You be going through, mm-hmm. but everything goes going to line up where you need it to go. All the girls even said they was like, "You blocking your blessings." Like no, but they said they, they literally was like, you know, when you do walk away, you know, if you get them millions, don't forget about me. They was being silly. Don't forget about me, your <laughs> right. sis. You know, free group. But they was like being very supportive. Yeah, they wasn't being dope. judgmental about it because you know sometimes you can talk to your friends and they be like oh you need to do this and you need to do that or whatever they had that moment but they was just basically they was it wasn't where to the point where like uh you want to consider my feelings about the situation right they was very okay. you know we know it they was like we know it's gonna take you time we know that mm-hmm. and we was like like how you know that person is the one and mm-hmm. all that other other good stuff like if that person was true to the one, it wouldn't be toxic Woo. like at all it would not be toxic it wouldn't be so hard you wouldn't have to say you wouldn't have to ask for the bad minimum they just do it yeah they literally would just do it my situation i don't know it's some kind of um i think it's like a marriage agreement or something crap but my homegirl at work picked it up today <clears throat> uh marriage affidavit don't and that's no that means you're married right yeah uh, yeah that's what i thought yeah that's what i thought too Yes, Ooh. they've been they've been since 2019 before I even met him. Oh, shit. And he told me it was some kind of marriage agreement for business purposes. No, I find out that oh. they're on the they she's on. I already knew she was on D because of the kids or something happened. Oh shit! They'll have a place to stay. I get that, but no, she ain't just on that. She on long due. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh shit! You can see all that. Yes information and they teach is she said she said we, she said well, this is not illegal it's a public worker you can look yeah, that you up, can look it up. Mm-hmm. yeah damn damn see yes and then i got a long message about today a text message a random text message today about um women ain't the prize we expect Whoa. men so pay all our bills <coughs> take care oh like, man i was like that's deflecting not, yeah, i'm like <laughs> he is it was a post he sent me and I was just like, I'm not even that type of person. Like, what are you like? I just like this is like the third time you would categorize me with these basic people in these streets. Mm-hmm. Yes, I have my financial struggles. Yes, I deal with life differently. Yes, I have anxiety and stress issues. But that does not mean that I'm not I'm incapable of trying. Everybody deal with life differently. I should be able. If you as my partner, I should be able to come to you when I'm having a rough ass time now you tell me mm-hmm. that oh for, oh you and you depressed for what now oh that's disrespectful very disrespectful that very disrespectful if you you keep hearing me talk about my financial situation instead of you listening to me and trying to help me figure out what's like what's the problem is you know you got the money somebody adding up right you're doing something wrong you know what I'm saying? Don't you? Your job is to be able to say, okay, let's sit down together and figure out what's going on, mm-hmm. versus you telling me it's my fault. You this and this and that. You, who wants to hear that? Clearly, I know it's my fault. <laughs> I'm in it, right? You know what I'm saying? But I'm coming to you for help. That like, does suck. It does suck. You not to me. I feel like when you get ma- get in a relationship or you get married, it's I know it's more than just love. It mm-hmm. really is. It's loyalty, respect. I want someone to, when I say provide for me, I'm not talking about financial. Of course, I don't, I like any woman. I, I, I wouldn't, who, who don't want to take, I don't want to take care of myself. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's be real about that. I don't want to, of course not. I appreciate that honesty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll be honest with you, yeah. Of course not. But also at the same time, I want you to be able to provide, protect me mentally, physically, you know, where I, a safe space. Where I can be vulnerable with you, where I don't know where about it. when you get mad, you throw it in my face uh-huh. and blame security me. Security in a way. Yeah, security in a way. It ain't just about, you know, financial or whatever. These men now are just talking about like, oh, what you bring to the table? What can I already got all this doing? But what do you do? I'm like, what you mean? What did I do? First of all, without us, 
you can't handle kids. That's for the first thing. Mm. Two, some most men do not know how to make a house a home. You can decorate mm. a, a house a home is where you can feel peace, love, and all that stuff. People mean, oh y'all crazy, but you feel and realize. I saw this on like TikTok. A preacher pastor was talking about whenever you give a woman, she multiplies it. Mm-hmm. You give her a seed, she gives you children. This is in the third. But he was like, if you give her attitude, what you think you're going to get? Yeah. And people don't understand. I agree. That's the same thing with a man and a woman. You, when you, your, their relationship is, dictates everything in your life. Your mental, your financial, everything. That person, if that person's not feeding the, the right energy into you, you're going to see that happen. And I was actually told that. Um, a woman, a woman's supposed to make you being a woman is supposed to make you make a man better. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I was like, how can I possibly do this when we don't spend no time, hardly spending time together? Quality time is more than just coming to my house, we land in the bed and watch TV and do whatever. We don't go nowhere. We don't do no dates. And when I say dates, I'm not saying we have to go out to eat all the time. We can go to the park. We can do arcade. I'm a very fun person. We grew up together. You know how cool I am. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, and one guy literally asked me on his dating app, because I'm bored, I got nothing else to do. He was like, why are you single? And I say, I'm going to be free with you. I, I don't even know. He don't know I'm not single, but it don't matter. <laughs> but I'm like, he was like, because he's telling you 35, you gorgeous. You got a great conversation. I'm not understanding. Why are you by yourself? Why nobody ain't snatch you up? I said, I don't know. That's why it's time for me to really. I'm not. It's not that I don't want to relate. It's not. I don't want to. It's not that I don't see myself in a a marriage or relationship in the future. But right now, I don't. It's it's just taking a real toxic toll on me. I understand. Cause like a person say they want to leave you, and then they turn around and come back, and he was like, "Well, you you don't see mm-hmm. the fact that even though I say I want to leave." Or whatever, but I come right back. I said, I understand it. I get it. But the principle which you're missing is your first instinct is to leave. Right, right. When you right. know I suffer from abandonment issues, you suck. Yeah. S. That's uh, that's a low key manipulation. It is a low key manipulation. I don't know how my mind is, is 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 handling it, cause I don't understand. Like, I'm not saying I was handling it. Now my eyes are open. Cause have you ever felt like you ask God to show you some things and He just the veil just yeah. lift over your head? Yeah, that's why I don't like to ask that goddamn question. What? <laughs> show me something. I I I be afraid to ask for confirmation, girl. But sometimes, sometimes we do. Sometimes we do need that confirmation. And like when I back to like the whole church thing. Mm-hmm. So it's okay to walk away from your childhood church. It's absolutely okay. It's like my mom, I took her. Cause, cause she cause she questioned it because like we go to paint go to church with jeans on yeah and stuff yeah. like that the Bible said come as you were but we ain't going in a crazy and I like with our titties and all that stuff <laughs> out and that like that right but it's respectful but she went one Sunday for, it was was it Mother's Day yeah it was Mother's Day mm-hmm. when I tell you when we got from church I took it to Mother's Day brunch they had downtown at the Renaissance Hotel they got Ooh. one for Easter. Okay. Yeah, it just I just we did they doing an Easter brunch. We she don't know I'm taking. It's gonna be a surprise. Oh, it's the Easter uh, doing the Easter Easter brunch and we going out there for Easter, and and then when she got home, got come got on that phone. I can hear her. That's all she talked about was Brightway. Mm. How much she loved the sermon. She actually remember word for word what he said. That's dope. Cause she want a free book and everything. Hey. Yeah, it's word for word. That's what's up. That's impactful, man. Like word for that's word. That's impactful. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like she been going to house mm-hmm. for how long? Cause mm-hmm. she told me one side and she said, she said they boost some. She was saying she was saying, oh, Jericho. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. I said was talking about something. She said it didn't make any sense to her. Mm-hmm. It, she said there was it a lot of that growing up. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna tell you who was the the best. Outside of my I don't daddy. Even, huh? Outside of my daddy. <laughs> Period. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah I, I love your dad because your dad used to dumb shit down so easily for me, and I'd just be able to get it. I love that shit about him. And your daddy wasn't gonna preach long. Let's just keep it a buck. 
yeah. in, out, let's go. I loved it. The longest is if it's big, catching 25 minutes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Might get some shouting in or something, but that's the only reason it's going to be long. Yeah. But he don't, I'm going to tell you who was my favorite person to talk to throughout the whole church. Hmm. Two, actually, that I've, I fucked with for the longest. <laughs> Ever. Her and, and, and had me at a period where I felt comfortable coming to them mm-hmm. with any question I had. Mm-hmm. To the point where I would come to the men of the church and I would leave with more questions than when I came with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I feel like for her to pick up for the way she did, like having me enjoy Sunday school, mm-hmm. I'm going to give it to her. Um, next was. Yeah, my mentor. Man, amazing. My mentor because like, hey, this is Mystique. This is Mr. Everlasting. And this is the safe word. Safe word. Y'all make sure y'all join us every first and third Friday of the month. Every month. We are in season three. Season three. Y'all already know what it is, man. Tap in.